Among people here, it's known as the Arab Road. New Arab arrivals come here not only looking for the sights and sounds of their homelands, but also to make contact with Berlin's migrant community. A conversation with older residents in one of the many cafes could help explain how life works in Germany. Those who lived here many years have lots to share from their experiences, but it's not that easy. The first bit of money I got from the state went to hiring a translator. Some people were Arabs, yes, but they weren't here as Arabs, they were here as representatives of German organizations. They were paid. They didn't come to help refugees. Nobody knows. Maybe yes. The majority of new arrivals in Berlin are Syrians. Older members of the city's Arabic community were largely Palestinian or from Lebanon. Many of the recent arrivals are already starting their own businesses. Here, for example, we're told it's 100% Syrian, and that's not just the products on the shelves. The owner, Dr. Obede Marouf, is Syrian as well. He's been in Berlin for 10 months. He prefers Syrians. To be honest, I'm really happy to employ Syrians. That's it. Maybe I just don't have any reason for it, but look. Wael is my right-hand man in the shop. He's a Palestinian from Syria, so 99% Syrian. On the other side of the German capital, away from the migrant economy of Sonen Ale, we find another initiative for refugees. In Berlin's vetting district, older migrants and new refugees have formed a culture center together. Here, too, it's only for Syrians. This simple apartment is more than just a meeting place. Here, the Syrians exchange information and support each other. Hussam al Din is a journalist and has lived in Germany for 10 years. He explains why some of the older migrants are a little reserved to the new arrivals. The older migrants had a completely different experience to the newcomers. They weren't treated very well. They had to live in dormitories for years and weren't given long-term visas. They didn't get to go to school. The Syrian refugees, on the other hand, got their visas relatively quickly and have a good chance of getting residency or even citizenship in the future. Hussam goes on to say that nevertheless, many of the older migrants are doing their most to make sure the new refugees integrate into the community quicker than they did. After I saw this club, I can say that much more important than the relationship between new and old immigrants is that they all succeed in being an active part in the German society.